Dr. Mehta, when I was initially diagnosed with early stage breast cancer, I was given the report that I was ER, PR positive, and HER2 negative. Mm -hmm. When I was re-diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer, my biomarker for HER2 came back wildly HER2 positive. How did that happen and why is it important? Um, I love that you said wildly HER2 positive because I think I saw you for a second opinion at that time and that's mm -hmm. how I described the, your cancer, that it was wildly HER2 positive. So to answer the first question, you know, why did it change? Mm -hmm. We don't know exactly why this changes. There's a couple of different theories, but we know that 10 to maybe even as high as 20% of breast cancers that were initially diagnosed at an early stage those patients who develop metastatic breast cancer, their receptors, mm -hmm. which are the biomarkers that we're talking about now, the right. ER, PR, and HER2, they can change. HER2 can change, estrogen mm -hmm. can change. Mm -hmm. It's really important to repeat the biomarkers on the biopsy that's done to confirm metastatic breast cancer because now the treatment options can change as well. Mm -hmm. And for you specifically, it opened up an entire world of new treatment options targeted specifically at this HER2 receptor. Mm. And if I can just talk a little bit about this, this receptor, because it was initially discovered 40 some years ago, mm -hmm. and the first drug for HER2 positive breast cancer was approved almost 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. But it's only recently, because of some of the advent of newer treatments around this HER2 receptor, that the way we test for HER2 has really changed. Mm. And even probably this year into next year, some of the guidelines are starting to change in how we test for mm. this. So initially I had mentioned that we look at proteins, mm -hmm. the HER2 protein, that's one way to look at it. There's also the HER2 gene. Remember the gene makes the protein, so we can look at the gene. Now what we're realizing with the advent of some newer treatments that women that we were calling HER2 negative mm -hmm. initially mm -hmm. might still benefit from treatments that are designed to attack the HER2 receptor. Mm -hmm. So it's becoming more and more important to understand HER2 testing, particularly in metastatic breast cancer, which is where these new treatments are designed to, to work best. So at this point in my treatment, almost five years in, is it important for me as a metastatic breast cancer patient to be retested? Yeah, great question. We often will retest women who have metastatic breast cancer, but we're not retesting women who are otherwise doing well. Mm -hmm. Because it's, if it's not going to change what we're doing, mm -hmm. if a woman is on a treatment and everything is going well, she's tolerating the treatment well, her cancer's under great control, there's really no reason to do that testing. And it's partly because the time when that woman may ultimately need it, the results might be very different. Mm -hmm. So if, if I test a woman now who's doing fine, those are not results that I'm going to use at a time where she may need it, which could be years down the road right. for some women.